Welcome back everybody. In this video our focus is going to be lesson number 43 and in lesson number 43 we are using our ring finger for the first time. The ring finger in the music is notated with the letter A and that is also in the beginning of the book. There's a whole explanation as to which um, letter represents which finger. So now we have our full hand available to us in this lesson as well as all future lessons. So P is thumb, I is index, M is middle, and A is your ring finger. The only time we use our pinky uh, is when we do some rasqueado techniques, which I'm not gonna get into, but it would sound something like that. So in lesson number 43, we are playing octaves. So um, while we are learning how to use our ring finger or getting accustomed with using our ring finger, we are also going to be playing, um, uh, we're also gonna be given an opportunity to know where our octaves are. So for example, in the first measure, we have an E on the sixth string, we have two E's on the fourth string, and then we have an E on the first string. And that is how every measure is. So a measure two would be a bunch of Fs. Measure three is just a bunch of Gs. So just an opportunity to go over our octaves. Uh, when you play this exercise, you're gonna wanna make sure that you uh, follow the fingering because it is thumb. It is not um, what you would expect. Thumb, middle, and then index, and then your ring finger. And the reason that is so is so that you have an easier opportunity, an easier, so that it becomes easier to play the first string with our ring finger, given that the last, uh, the previous note is using our, uh, we are using our index finger for the previous note on the fourth string. You see this on my right hand, if you're looking, this right here is a lot more easier to manage and pull off than this because the, the ring finger and the middle finger are close to each other. So when you spread them out, that's kind of awkward. So instead, we're gonna use our index on the, uh, for the note previous to the uh, note that we use our ring finger on, which means our picking pattern is going to be thumb, middle, index, ring. And that would apply to all of the measures. I would like you to use your thumb, um, I would like you to, with your thumb, mute the notes that you need to mute so that you're only hearing the note that you're playing. For example, in the first measure, we're gonna play E with our thumb, rest stroke or free stroke, it doesn't matter. After that, you're going to play E with your middle finger on the fourth string. Once you play that note, your thumb needs to go back to the sixth string to prevent it from ringing over the note that you played on the fourth string. So you only want one note to ring at a time. So we have this in the first measure. Thumb, Middle, index, ring. Now, when you play your ring finger, I want you to lift your middle finger off of the E that you're playing on the fourth string. So let me show you again. First, making paying attention to the thumb stopping the sixth string. Thumb, middle, stops the sixth string. Index, ring finger plays, you lift your middle finger off. That way, all you hear is the high E and not the high E and the E on the fourth string. You would apply that to all of the uh, measures. Well, there are only four of them. You would apply that when two of them are the same. So you would apply that to the second measure. And this time when you play F, because it's a fret, uh, fretted note, you could just take your middle, your index, your, your first finger off the string, oops, <laughs> and it'll stop just like that. So you don't have to necessarily put your thumb back on the sixth string, although you could do both. But um, try not to lift it off entirely, because then you'll hear the E uh, when you lift your finger off, which is why I kind of chuckled earlier. So what you can do is remove the pressure, but keep the finger on the string. So that's one way to mute the strings. See how my, my, my index, uh, my first finger, is still on the string. So now on the second measure, we have F, 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 and then F. Making sure that when we play this F on the, on, the, on the first string, we remove our ring finger from the F on the fourth string so that we don't hear these notes together because that's not what's written in the lesson. 
<clears throat> in the third measure, we have the same thing. G, G with the, I'm sorry, uh, G with our thumb, and then G with uh, on the third string with our middle finger. You can do one or the other. You can remove the pressure from your ring finger, or you can put your thumb on the sixth string, or do both. When you play this G, you're going to use uh, your pinky, with your, and then uh, your fourth finger with your left hand. Your ring finger is going to play that note, and then your thumb is going to have to reach the third string to stop the third string from ringing because it's an open string. So we can't just remove the pressure from the finger because we don't have a finger on that particular string. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Thumb, index, oops, sorry, thumb, index, middle, ring. See, you play the ring finger, you, you play the first string with your ring finger, then, and then the thumb comes down on the third string. All right, and then you return to F, you return to E, and then you play an E at the end. There is a repeat sign in my book. I'm not sure if there's a repeat sign in yours, but you could just repeat this lesson as many times as you need to to practice your your, your uh, the use of your ring finger. A good opportunity for me to exp uh, to uh, to um, mention that there are a bunch of right hand studies that focus specifically with just the right hand. Now that we can use all of our fingers. Uh, it's it's uh, there are 120 right hand exercises. I'm not sure. Giuliani's 120 right hand uh, exercises for the right hand, something like that. Giuliani, G I U L I A N I, Giuliani. And there's 120 of them, and you could just go through each one and just practice the pattern for the right hand, and you just. With that, you can do a lot of things with that, but in this instance, just you can use it as an opportunity. You can you can use those exercises as an opportunity just to become familiar with all of the different patterns that you could practice for your for your fingers and your thumb. P I M A. All kinds of different. Um, well, I think I think I just said it. All kinds of different patterns to really get a hold of of your of your right hand. So let's play through lesson forty three once. On my count, just a steady tempo. Here, here's our tempo. Oops. We'll do that, okay? On my count. Uh, let's see, we're in 4-4, four, four, so pretty basic. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I got a little bit sloppy on those last two notes, but this is deceptively, it looks like it's easy, but if, if you're having a hard time controlling your right hand, remembering to stop this string, stop that string, lift this finger off, but don't remove it off the string, it actually can be frustrating and seem complicated, but with some time, you get it just, you'll get it just fine. All right, on to lesson 44. I'll see you guys there.